Thank you for purchasing the Roland ARM10 desktop 3D printer. This video will cover the basic unboxing and setup of your printer. Begin by carefully cutting open the shipping box, removing the three accessory boxes and material tray. With assistance, lift the ARM10 out of the box and place on your table or desk. Verify the contents of your accessory boxes. You should have an AC adapter, USB cable, material vat, tool kit and cleaning station kit. A startup card is also included and should be kept close for later use in the setup. Next, remove the packaging and shipping tape from your device. At this time, you should not remove the foam shipping blocks from the inside of the printer. Assemble your AC adapter and power cord. Plug the adapter into a power outlet and then plug into the side of the ARM10. Push the power button on the front of the device. Once your printer powers on, the build platform will move up, allowing you to easily remove the foam shipping blocks. Then remove the last pieces of shipping tape. You've now successfully unboxed your ARM10 3D printer and can continue with the setup process. Once you've unboxed your ARM10 3D desktop printer, the next step is to download the necessary drivers and software online through Roland On Support. To do this, you'll need a PC with internet access. Begin by typing in the URL located on the included startup card. Select your language, Monofab series, and then select ARM10. Select your working environment. Your computer should be connected directly to the internet. Choose option A. The startup guide contains detailed information about system requirements, as well as the initial unboxing and installation of your device. Section 5 of the startup guide is a driver installation. Read through and accept the software license agreement, then click to download the drivers. You'll need to unzip the folder, then select Display Link Driver to install. Select the appropriate Windows folder for your system, then click on the setup file to install the ARM10 driver. Follow the instructions on screen to complete the installation. After installing, return to the ARM10 Startup Guide and go to Section 7 on Support Setup. Read through and accept the software license agreement, then click to download the software. After unzipping the folder, open the On Support Setup application file to begin the installation. Follow the on-screen instructions. On Support will open after it installs. In the Device Management window, choose USB and select Roland ARM10, then click Verify. You'll be asked to create an account username and password. Click Login. Select the Device tab on On Support, go to Edit and select Device Management. Select Software, then click Download Installer to begin downloading your Monofab Player AM software. Read through and accept the software license agreement, then follow the on-screen instructions. Once the software is installed, navigate to your start menu or desktop and open Monofab Player AM. Now that all software is installed, your next step is to prepare your ARM10 for printing. Start by loosening the material vat retaining screws. Slide the material vat into place, pushing it back until it touches the shutter lever and opens the shutter that is under the tray. You may need to push firmly until the shutter opens. 
check that the material vat stopper is resting on the edge of the tray. Then tighten the retaining screws. Using the included hex wrench, loosen the four Z adjustment screws, being careful not to remove the screws completely. With the screws loosened, the platform should move freely. In Monofab Player AM, go to the Print tab, then click the down arrow under Replace VAT Move Platform. This will cause a platform to move down into the material VAT. Stop the platform when it touches the bottom of the VAT. With the platform in this position, tighten all four Z adjustment screws. Click the up arrow in Monofab Player AM to return the platform to the top position. Your build platform is now set for your material VAT and your ARM10 desktop 3D printer is ready for your first print. This section will guide you through the file setup and printing process using Monofab Player AM. Begin by opening your Monofab Player AM software and importing the STL file you wish to print. In this example, the downloaded sample file funny underscore horn .stl has been imported. Use the healing function in Monofab Player AM to easily address any errors. In the software, position the model on the platform. It's highly recommended to adjust the angle of the model you're printing and to leave a gap between the platform and the model of roughly 5mm. This will help ensure proper support generation, allow the ARM10 to lift the model with greater ease, help reduce fogging on the bottom of the material vat, and provide space for excess resin to drain, preventing buildup on the model surface. Next, select the Supports tab and click Generate Supports. To adjust the number of supports, use the Lattice Size slider. The advanced settings will allow you to change the support size as well as the angle of the supports relative to the object. By changing this angle, you can adjust how far up the supports go along the object. If needed, you can easily add more or delete unnecessary supports. Next, select the Print tab. Check the structure that has been generated to ensure all supports are positioned properly. To do this, select the Cross-Section View tool and drag the green frame around your model to see the cross-section of the support structure. Clicking on Advanced Print Conditions will allow you to change layer height for a finer resolution. Change layer height to 0.1mm and resin exposure time to 20 seconds for higher quality. Using the estimated job volume as a guide, pour the needed resin into the material vat. Click Print to start the print job. The estimated print time remaining will be shown in the lower right-hand corner of the Monofab Player window. Be sure to disable screen savers and adjust the sleep settings on your computer, as these will cause the printer to stop and your print to possibly fail. Once your print is complete, you're ready for post-processing. Once you've successfully printed your object, you'll need to do some post-processing cleanup and curing. To do this, you'll need the plastic and metal spatula, tweezers and rubber gloves from the included cleaning station kit. In addition, you'll need paper towels, rubbing alcohol, wire cutters, a metal file, sandpaper and a UV curing device or access to bright sunlight. Rubber gloves should be worn throughout the entire post-processing of your print. Prepare the cleaning station before removing the print from the platform by filling each of the cleaning containers with rubbing alcohol. You'll want to fill them high enough to fully immerse the print during the wash. Using the metal spatula, carefully remove your print from the platform and place it in the first cleaning container. Gently agitate for one to two minutes to remove excess resin. Once this is done, remove the print and carefully cut away the supports using your wire cutters. 
Keep in mind that a metal file and or sandpaper can be used later to clean up the areas that you cut. Place the print in the second cleaning container and gently agitate for one to two minutes. Post cure your print by exposing it to UV light for three to five minutes in a curing device, under a UV lamp or in bright sunlight. If the print still feels tacky after curing, wash again for one to two minutes in the second cleaning container and then pat it dry with a clean cloth or paper towel. Final finishing can be done using a metal file and sandpaper to smooth out rough areas and leftover support pieces. Optionally, you can use acrylic to paint your printed object. Your post-processing is now complete and your print is now done.